Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take the equation of a circle and we're going to find the parametric equations and then we're going to find a vector valued function for that circle as well. So let's start off with a simple example. We'll say we have x squared plus uh, y squared equals 4. So there is an identity from trigonometry that is extremely useful uh, to do these problems. It says that cosine squared t plus sine squared t is equal to 1. So we somehow want to use this identity to uh, come up with the parametric equations. So the idea is that we want to get 4 at the end. So if we replace x with 2 cosine t, and we replace y with 2 sine t, let's go through it carefully and see what happens. So on the left, you square the 2, so you get 4 cosine squared t. Then over here, we get 4 sine squared t. And what you can do now um, is you can pull out the 4, right? So this is 4 parentheses, and then we have cosine squared t plus, and then sine squared t. So we end up with 4 times 1, uh, which is 4. So it does indeed check. So these, these, these equations, these parametric equations, basically solve uh, this equation. So we'll set x equal to 2 cosine t and y equal to 2 sine t. And these here would be the parametric uh, equations. So typically in a Calculus 2 class, you find uh, parametric equations. In a Calc 3 class, you go uh, a step further and you find the vector valued function, which in this case is pretty simple. It would just be r of t, and it's always x of t times your standard unit vector i hat plus y of t times your standard unit vector j hat. So your vector valued function, r of t, it's going to be, well, x is 2 cosine t. I'll put it in parentheses. So 2 cosine t, i hat, plus, and then y is 2 sine t, j hat. And that would be our vector valued function. Let's do a harder problem, a much, much harder one, um, so that you see how this really works. Let's change the center of the circle. So in that example, it was 0, 0. So here's another example. x minus 1 quantity squared plus y plus 4 squared equals 9. So now the center is 1, negative 4. You could use a formula to do this, but I, I personally think it's better just to think about it every time. That way you never forget how to do it. So again, we want to get 9, so this time we'll take this entire piece here, this whole x minus 1, and we'll replace it with 3 cosine t. And we'll take this entire piece here, the y plus 4, and we'll replace it with 3 sine t. So we have two equations now, 3 cosine t equals x minus 1. And you can convince yourself, right, if you square this and you square this, you do get 9. So 3 cosine t is x minus 1, and 3 sine t is y plus 4. So solving for x on the left-hand side, we would add 1 to both sides, so plus 1, plus 1. We would get x equals 1 plus 3 cosine t. Then subtracting 4 from both sides over here, we would get y equals minus 4 plus 3 sine t. These would be our parametric equations. And then to finish, let's go ahead and write down our vector valued function. So r of t, so it's always x, so it would be 1 plus 3 cosine t times i hat, plus, and then our y, so negative 4 plus 3 sine t, and then we have our j hat. And that would be our vector valued function. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. That's it.